When we talk about education without barriers, our work in what we do is to break down those barriers every single day by ensuring that the leadership structures are in place and people have the tools they need to directly provide positive impacts in the classroom for teachers. This summit was really an opportunity for us to convene leaders and professionals from a, a multitude of different programs who are committed to excellence in education without barriers. They have a collective mission to ensuring that every child receives the educational experience that they need in order to grow. We also wanted to make sure that we were working with national leaders uh, across the nation. And so we were able to bring in some experts. It was really a, an exciting opportunity to partner with them to build upon the vision of, of the summit. All of what I did here with, uh, with folks this week was about opening people's eyes to a new way of looking at conflict that's based on really getting at what people's underlying interests are. It's called interest-based negotiation or interest-based conflict resolution. These are universal human challenges and the approach of getting at people's underlying interests, right, of listening and of approaching with curiosity and not assuming that you understand where another person is coming from. All of these things can be used in all contexts. And I was really intrigued when I heard the presentation on the MTSS uh, project that you're rolling out here, that you're looking to take this holistic approach here. You're looking to have all the different uh, services and supports and ex subject matter experts that are working with students, all aspects of their education, and really trying to meet the needs of the whole child. And the only way you can do that is in teams. And I love this morning's session because we talked about a multi-tiered support system that DoDIA is really stepping into. And that comes with psychological safety. Being able to raise your hand and say, I don't understand this, or I have questions about this. Being able to be empowered to ask questions and to say, I might need a bit more support, or let me be the leader and provide support, that's gonna foster an environment of psychological safety where people start growing with each other and energizing each other, motivating each other, versus putting each other down because of fear. So what that does is that brings uh, subject matter expertise to the field and it adds an additional layer of what we do when it comes time to establish research-based interventions to meet all of our students' needs. Our teachers are pedagogically sound, but our subject matter experts provide an additional layer and provide additional guidance that brings us to a place where we know we can meet those students' needs based on their training, their expertise, and what they have to give to the table and the team. So because we're all together, we're all getting the same type of collaboration, the same type of training, the same type of understanding, we're able to walk away with a greater mission in order to know what we need to do when we go back to the office on Monday. And that theme and that message is consistent now across the world as we go back to our places in the Americas, our places in Europe, and our places across the Pacific.